hi all so today in this video we'll be learning about uh, fixture scope okay so I think uh, I have already covered about uh, this scope options in PyTest right but in case of playwright and playwright PyTest there are some something extra is there for this function scope and sense scope so function scope is like uh, fixture fixtures are created when requested in a test function and destroyed when the test ends so that means uh, when you are using function scope like here this part I mean here we don't you're not mentioning anything right what is the scope so by default it is function scope here as well so so when this fixtures is getting invoked at the start of the test and it gets destroyed at the end of the test right now if I change it to the session scope that means uh, this fixture will be in, uh, invoked before start of any I mean before before start of the first test okay and it will be ended after completing all the tests right I mean all the tests which uh, I mean which uh, let's say there are five tests and out of that three tests are using these fixtures and two tests is using this fixture now what I am doing I am making it as a session scope but I'm not making this as session scope okay this is still function scope but it becomes session scope so this fixture I mean this setup tear down fixture is uh, linked with three tests right so uh, when the execution started and before starting the first test and after completing those three tests it will be closed so this will be invoked before starting the first test and after completing those those three tests it will be destroyed but it will be it will work like a function scope like I mentioned I hope you got it now I am trying it okay there is one thing I need to tell you as you can see uh, in case of playwright this page and this context we already used this page but we didn't use this context as here I mean we didn't give this context right we gave page so page is kind of a uh, fixture so what is this doing uh, I mean it's just giving you I mean just directly you can access this page we do not have to create this page right from context dot uh, like we did here in the basic section we did right in the first test case uh, first uh, use here it is saying this playwright context okay so from the playwright not context sorry playwright scope uh, sorry it's the uh, fi fixture so uh, we are using this uh, using this fixture I mean it is used internally by the playwright team right so we are just directly putting it in our uh, run method right run whatever method we are writing and we are directly using this fixture and we are uh, creating the browser from it and then from the browser we are creating the context right and uh, here in the context file we used the page fixture and from the page we are directly using we do not have to do those further steps I mean this these many steps right we're not doing these many steps so directly we are using I mean these two steps and directly we are creating this page uh, sorry for making you confused actually these two step and these steps so these three three steps are I mean we are skipping because we have this page fixture okay now now what if if I change it to the session scope so let's do that okay I just made it as a session scope right now if I just let me clear it Okay, and uh, let me run it so we used uh, this earlier in the last video right I headed and then the basic URL as this is so I'm hitting enter so let's see what happens whether it executes or not no it didn't execute the first two but the last one got executed I mean not the last but uh, this logout scenario probably I mean no login right so set up tr down no login it was given in this scenario so it is right invalid credentials okay so why it got passed and why it didn't get passed right the reason is like this this is function scope 
okay and we are using page fixer so page fixer has to be with function scope but if we are using session scope then we cannot use page fixer so that is what it is giving this error uh, scope mismatch you try to access function scoped fixture page with a session scoped request object involved factories okay uh, something uh, related to the playwright internal okay so we do not have to worry what is meaning but uh, we understood from this line like what it is happening so what we have to do we have to change the scope to the functions okay and default is already function so i do not need to mention the scope so i can just delete it and uh, now if i execute obviously it will run fine but now next uh, we can see here like there are some so in function scope we have learned like context and page is there but we have not covered context maybe in some separate video we'll be covering so session scope uh, we have already seen this playwright and i will show you one more thing like the browser so let's see what happens if i give this as a browser context here okay now few more line we have to write here so page is like giving red sign because it is not i mean it is not getting like we need to create this page so uh, from browser we can create browser browser dot new context and here we can create the context so from the context we can create page new page right and we can give it to page that's it so we just had had to write these two lines of code okay and uh, we are using here browser fixture so here i can use session scope so with page fixture we could not use but with browser fixture we can use session scope so if you need to execute your test in uh, like uh, session scope mode in that case you need to use this browser fixture and from there you need to create this page okay you cannot directly use the page fixture and can run in session scope so that's uh, that's just cannot be done in playwright okay so here let's run it and check whether our tests are this two test where this setup tear down fixture is getting used are running in session scope or not so let's run it so it's still giving error so let's see what what is the error it's giving so cannot navigate to the invalid url okay so the problem is like uh, with browser fixture i mean if you are using browser fixture in that case we cannot give this dash dash base url okay so this is also one problem with playwright uh, tool i'm not sure why they are not allowing us to use this dash dash base url equals to this one uh, with browser fixture context i mean browser fixture right so we cannot give it we have to directly use it here so uh just a moment i'm just copying it from here and let me put it okay now uh here also we can give it but let's run it uh, th in this way only and see whether it's working or not so okay so as you can see all three tests are passed but uh, what just ha what happened just now is like uh, the these two tests login with valid credentials and log out these two tests are executing with uh, i mean uh, executing in the session scope mode right so browser is opened but if you see carefully uh, let me run once again and with slow motion on so we can see in better way what is happening exactly so i'm giving 1000 second 1000 uh, milliseconds of delay 
so it started and first test is getting executed so notice carefully okay did you notice one thing uh, it actually didn't close the browser right so after executing these two tests the browser was launched for the one single time okay one time and for after completing the first test it just directly moved to the logout step okay and that's what uh, it should do because uh, I mean it, it can do like it, it, it didn't close the browser so it just directly executed this logout step logout test and then a new browser is launched I mean uh, instant browser instance is launched so we can see both two uh, browser instance at the same time right so the previous the this one these two uh, I mean the browser instance where these two are executed is not closed right so we need to do that we have to close this first and then we should uh, start it should start the second I mean sorry the last one okay so how we can do that so here it's returning the page after this the, we can give the tear down option right so the tear down should be like uh, context dot close so we are creating actually context right so context dot close and let's see what happens now so it started executing and it logging in so the first test completed and the logout step is also done so you can see uh, no it's still using both the instances right I mean there are two Chrome instances are there uh, it should be I mean at a time it should be one and then it should close and it should start the next one so what is the problem like context is getting closed after that we can come I mean before complete uh, before uh, closing the context we can come uh, close the page also okay and now if I run it it should work now so it's logging in the first is done and the second test is also done okay it still didn't close it okay let's see what output showing it's showing like a base url is this one root directory was this one plugins is this one that's fine and uh, let me go to this their page so browser instance launched by playwright right so why it is not getting closed we need to find out okay so here you can see it's the browser is created by browser type launch right so here it's creating the browser and after that it should close the browser so uh, we do not have to close the browser right browser dot close we do not need to give because the thing is like uh, this is this fixture right so when you are doing this page one so we are not closing the page page dot close we are not writing the page dot close it automatically getting closed so in that case um, not sure but I can try it so here what we have done in the first test so you can see like context.close and browser.close we are not actually closing the page right so what you can do you can remove it and then you can write context.close and browser.close let's do that So it's still open to browser. Okay, okay, I got it. Why it is happening? Because even though we are giving this context.close and browser.close, it still remain there, right? So actually, we do not have to give this. Okay, the reason is like 
it's in session scope mode right so that is why because session is still active session is not closed so until it is uh, i mean browser is launched before the first test okay and it should be closed after the first test so where it is what what is happening so when our uh, test 01 is getting launched before test 01 getting launched uh, the browser is one browser is getting browser is getting launched right and so it's it it executed and then in the same browser instance this logout step is also getting executed okay and after that it is moving to this third one so we are expecting like after this one it should get closed but it should not okay because this is session scope and session is still active so after completing the th third test it it closing the closing the browser instance and at the same time there is second browser instance getting created because of this this one is different scope right because it is using a different fixture altogether so uh, the both there is, at, at the same time there are two browser uh, browser instance right so at the end of third test okay so that is the final test and it is closing all those browser all those browser instance i mean whichever is there right now it is two browser instance but if there is four five six browser instance it should close at the same time all all of those okay i hope it's it's clear and let me know if it helps and uh, please like share and subscribe thank you for watching